Introduction to Horticulture At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define horticulture. Describe the history and role of horticulture. Explain the major divisions and branches of horticulture. Hello mom and dad. Tiresome day at work. Need a cup of coffee to relax. What happened mom? You people seem to be dull and sick. Son, we feel lonely and depressed after everyone leaves for work. How long can we sit idle watching television? Nowadays, the impact of social and economic activities increases stress among all, irrespective of their ages. Yeah, I do understand. But don't worry, Dad. I have a better solution for you both. Why don't you go out to the nearby park and have a look at the beautiful garden with colorful flowers and people all around? This will definitely change your mood and you will feel better. Also, you people can spend your leisure time for home gardening and I bet you will definitely enjoy it. Yes, son, that's a good idea. I have heard that gardening can reduce stress, improve mental health, reduce blood pressure and most importantly, keeps us happy. Yes, I agree with you, Dad. Even the prisoners at Dartmoor Prison in England are being engaged in gardening tasks since 2007 to change their violent behavior. That's great. Gardening is the practice of cultivating plants, which is a part of horticulture, isn't it? Rightly said, Mom. Horticultural therapy is considered as one of the important remedies in healthcare and human services as it connects people and plants. Hello everybody. Seems you people are involved in a serious discussion. Welcome dear. Come and join us. We are just talking about horticultural therapy which can help in overcoming our boredom and frustration. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Our organization is also planning for horticultural therapy to relieve employee stress. Yes, this weekend we shall plan and make arrangements to raise our own garden. Wow, garden, dad, we all love to play in our garden. Children, we are talking about horticulture and gardening. You people can help your grandparents to raise one. Dad, what is horticulture? The word horticulture is derived from two Latin words, hortus, meaning garden, and culture meaning cultivation. In short, horticulture means garden cultivation. In broad sense, horticulture is defined as an art and science that involves the cultivation, propagation, processing, management and marketing of ornamental plants, flowers, nursery plants, turf, vegetables, fruits and landscape design. Horticulture is one of the branches of plant biology. Besides, it incorporates food plants and non-food crops. Let me explain you about the history of horticulture. Initially, the cultivation of vegetables, fruits, flowers and ornamental plants was done in a safe enclosure, referred to as an estate. The estates were generally called as gardens. The term horticulture was coined by Peter Lauren Berg only during the 17th century, representing the cultivation of crops and gardens. Horticulture historians believed that horticulture first began in Egyptian temple gardens. The Egyptians cultivated a wide range of fruit trees, palms and grape vines. They also cultivated a great variety of herbs, spices and medicinal plants. Archaeological evidence showed that Egyptian gardens contained a number of gardening elements that persisted until modern times. A major development of the Middle Ages was that horticulture was formally recognized as a distinct unit from agriculture. At present, horticulture plays a vital role in plant protection and conservation, garden and landscape design, construction and maintenance, landscape renovation, horticulture therapy and self-employment. Wow! It's wonderful to know about the history of horticulture. Can you please explain about the major divisions and branches of horticulture? 
Why not? Horticulture is divided into three main divisions, namely fruit cultivation, market gardening and ornamental cultivation. Fruits cultivation involves the cultivation of fruits and nuts. Market gardening involves the cultivation of vegetables and herbs. Ornamental cultivation involves the cultivation of flowers, shrubs and trees for gardening and landscape designing. Let me move on to the branches of horticulture in detail. The major branches of horticulture are olericulture, pomology, viticulture, floriculture, gardening, arboriculture, turf grass management, landscape horticulture and nursery. The minor branches of horticulture include cultivation of spices, cultivation of medicinal herbs and cultivation of aromatic plants. Now, I shall explain about them one by one. Oloriculture is an art and science that deals with the cultivation of plants for using their edible parts as vegetables. Based on the edible plant parts, vegetables are commonly categorized as stem, example asparagus and lotus, root, example carrot, beet and turnip, flowers, example broccoli and cauliflower, bulbs, example onion and garlic, seeds, example double beans and beans, tuba, example sweet potato, cassava, yam and potato, fruits, example Lady's finger, brinjal, cucumber, and tomato. Leafy vegetables, example, spinach, lettuce, and cabbage. Yeah, Dad, I know this. One of my friends has a home garden. I have seen some of the vegetables in his garden. I wish we raise one in our home too. Well, then you know something about oloriculture. Let me continue with other branches. Pomology is the study and cultivation of fruits and nuts. It includes cultivation of fruits such as banana, orange, mango and watermelon. Trees like almond, walnut and chestnut are cultivated for harvesting high protein nuts. Viticulture is the study and cultivation of vines such as black and green grapes. Floriculture is the study and cultivation of flowers that possess economic and aesthetic values. Some of the examples are jasmine, daisy, rose, tulips and chrysanthemum. Gardening is the practice of cultivating ornamental plants as a part of horticulture for interior and exterior decoration. Oh yes, Dad, there is a garden near my school which has beautiful flowers and trees. Exactly. Let us know about the other branches too. Arboriculture is the practice of growing woody trees in specific areas. It is also known as silviculture in forestry. Turf grass management. It involves the cultivation and management of turf grass, grass seed and sod production that are used for designing lawns. These grasses are grown as carpet in lawns for enhancing the beauty of a garden. Yes, we are aware of it as we always play in the lawn at our school garden. Fine. Have you heard of landscape horticulture? Yes, we carry out this in our organization. It is the study of garden construction, parks and space design so as to make it appear more natural and appealing. Maintenance of healthy lawn plays an important part in any landscape designing. Let me share my knowledge about the branches of horticulture, which I have read in Introductory Horticulture, written by Carol Shry. Nursery Management This branch deals with the management of nursery site, where plant saplings, cuttings and grafts are grown with care before transplanting them to the main field.
cultivation of spices, medicinal herbs and aromatic plants is also a part of horticulture. Few examples are coriander, cinnamon, clove, etc. Cultivation of medicinal plants such as tulsi, ashwagandha and rawalfia is also a part of horticulture. Apart from these, aromatic plants are cultivated for their medicinal use and volatile oils. Dad, do you know what is DIY? No idea, dear. It is nothing but do it yourself. A 12 year study in Sweden has reported that active hobby like gardening on DIY reduces heart diseases and strokes in elderly people by 30%. Oh, great. Then I shall choose horticulture as my hobby. By this way, I can resolve my health issues too. Come on. Let us all go shopping to purchase the tools and materials that we require for home gardening. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Horticulture is the science and art of cultivating vegetables, fruits, flowers, species and medicinal plants. Three main divisions of horticulture are Fruits cultivation, market gardening and ornamental cultivation. The key branches of horticulture are oloriculture, pomology, viticulture, floriculture, gardening and arboriculture.